All right, guys, so I just got a call from Lisa and she said that the MUX is broken down. So it's got the engine light on, traction control light, and apparently it's in limp mode. So I've got my scan tool here and I'm gonna go down and see what's going on with it. So let's go. Okay, I've just arrived at the scene of the breakdown. So low range Nick's roadside assist is here. So let's go see what's happened to the MUX. Did you break the MUX? <laughs> it wasn't me. Did you break it? <laughs> It wasn't me, alright? <laughs> did you break down with mum? Daddy! Oh, hey Lara, did you guys break down? Yeah. We need daddy to come need save help? us. <laughs> <laughs> Low range Nick, break down assist. Yeah. Roadside assist. Alright, let's have a look what's going on. Let's get the scan tool out. Now, I didn't keep a scan tool in the car, but I figured I was only 10 minutes away. So I figured it'd be easier for me to just come down and see what's going on and probably drive the car home. So we'll see what's happening. All right, let's see what's going on with the MUX. We're going to Diagnostic Asia. Find a Suzu. We'll go Global. And here we go, MUX. 4JJ1. Quick scan. Okay, let's see what's going on. Oh, got one fault in the engine. No faults in the transmission. Two felts in the ABS. Hmm. There you go. Let it do the full system check. Make sure there's no codes in any of the other control units. So I've got three faults. So one in the engine, two in the ABS. So we'll see what the engine code is. Yeah. I had a feeling it might be this code. Differential pressure sensor circuit range performance. So these things are super common for the differential pressure sensor on the DPF for failing. So no doubt that's what's happened. So I'll show you guys the sensor a little bit later on um, when we get home. But for now I'll just clear the code and uh, try and get the car home. And then we can sort of go about diagnosing it. Alrighty guys, so I did manage to drive the MUX home just so it went into limp mode and threw an engine light again a couple of minutes later but i managed to just limp it home and get it back into the garage so it is a hard fault with that differential pressure sensor so i've actually got two months left on my vehicle warranty so i'm going to try for a warranty and see if they'll replace it and fingers crossed because it's a known issue they should replace it and we'll see how we go so i'll show you guys which sensor i'm talking about so if we jump in the engine bay and come down here on the driver's side you can see this little sensor here, so that's the differential pressure sensor. It's got two rubber hoses which run off down here to the DPF. And basically what the pressure sensor does is it measures and reports on the pressure on the top side and the bottom side of the DPF. So it sort of tells the system what the pressure in the DPF is doing from the exhaust flow. And that sort of enables the system to calculate whether it needs to burn off or whether it's okay and how much soot is in that DPF system. So it is about eight o'clock at night. So the car broke down probably around, you know, five thirty, six o'clock in the afternoon. So all the dealerships were shut. So I'm going to try ring them tomorrow and I'll sort of see what they say and how soon they can book me in to get the issue looked at. So hopefully it's not too long because we'll be sort of without this car and just running around with the chimney with our family. So fingers crossed they can get us in as quick as possible to get this issue fixed. So stay tuned guys and we'll find out what happens. Alrighty guys, so a bit of an update on the MUX. So they actually managed to get the vehicle fixed before the weekend, which is a miracle because I really wasn't expecting the vehicle to come back for another couple of days. So I was sort of expecting them to have it for a week, you know, over the weekend and next week, but they managed to get the vehicle diagnosed, approval from warranty, got the vehicle fixed and back to me before the weekend without even having it booked in. So absolutely awesome work from the guys down at Pacific Gimpy. Really appreciate the work they did and it's really good. So basically what happened is Wednesday afternoon, the vehicle faltered, went into limp mode on my wife when she was driving home from work. I went down, checked out what was going on, obviously read the code down as you guys saw earlier. So it was differential pressure sensor codes. So obviously I've sort of seen a bit of this happening with the MUX and DMAXs that it is a pretty common issue that these pressure sensors actually fail. So I sort of knew what was going on and I drove the vehicle home in limp mode and Lisa drove the Jimny home 
and then the next day I rang the dealership and then talked to one of the service advisors there and he was really helpful. He sort of said, you know, if you bring it down and leave it with us, we may be able to look at it, um, you know, if we have a cancellation or something like that. So Thursday morning, I took the vehicle down to Pacific Gympie and, you know, I sort of wasn't expecting the vehicle back for, you know, maybe a week or something or maybe a bit longer because, you know, trying to get warranty approval, then parts ordered and, you know, getting the part fitted can take a lot of time sometimes. So I wasn't really expecting it to be this quick, but took it down Thursday, left it with them and sort of just hoping that, you know, they'll get to it when they get to it. And then I got a call 4 p.m. this afternoon, which is Friday afternoon, saying my car's all ready to go, time to pick it up. So I was like, what? This is amazing. So I was super excited. They did such a good job. They went above and beyond to get the vehicle fixed and back to me before the weekend, which is absolutely awesome. So good on you guys at Pacific Gimpy. So I'll show you guys what they did. So basically, as I suspected, a failed differential pressure sensor so they replace the differential pressure sensor and they replace the rubber lines that go down to the DPF as well so let's have a bit of a look so we'll just jump into the engine bay now you can see down here they put a new differential pressure sensor on the vehicle they've also put some new rubber hoses on with the pressure sensor that go down to the hard lines on the DPF so when they did the replacement they also carried out a DPF burn off and also check that the system was functioning correctly. So it all seems to be good now. No engine lights, no track lights. Everything's, you know, going really well. It's driving really good. So that's definitely fixed the issue. So I've heard it is a pretty common issue with these differential pressure sensors failing. So it is definitely something to sort of, you know, keep an ear out for, or, you know, if you have start having issues, it might be something to get checked. So unfortunately when it faulted, you know, prior to it faulting, there was no sort of signs of it failing. So it basically just happened out of the blue, just failed. So unfortunately, there's not really too many warning signs that it's going to fail. So there you go, guys. I Suzu fitted the new differential pressure sensor to my MUX and it's running really good now. So hopefully I won't have any more issues with the DPF system, but I guess only time will tell. So I hope this video will be of interest to some of you guys and it may help you with diagnosing some issues that you're having with your own vehicles. So if you did enjoy this video and if it helped you out a little bit, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more full driving, accessory fitting, and maintenance videos. Cheers guys.